Okay, welcome. Um, what I want to talk about today um, is I want to talk about guides and layers. And I'm going to use the lyric poster um, for InDesign class as the example. And um, I have a document already set up for the poster. So this is an 11 by 17, which is what we're going to be using. And I'm going to first talk about layers. So by default, there's going to be one layer. And you really need to be thinking about what are the components of this project. So to do that, we can look at what are the requirements here um, on the project sheet or the project brief. So on this project brief, it's going to tell you that the required information is the song title. So we could rename this um, song title. So that would be our first layer. Um, our second layer might be our lyrics. Um, we might have another layer, so you're just creating it here. You can also come up to the four little dots, the four little lines here and say new layer does the same thing. Um, maybe we have um, a picture. And then you also have to have the year um, that the song um, was created. So we have the song name, um, the band or group name. So. I only have the song title right now, so we also need um, the group name in here. Um, the lyrics, visual, and um, that relate to the song. Okay, so these are the requirements. So just with those little requirements, we have five layers. In the project sheet, if you go to page two, this will show you um, how everything is graded and it shows you that you have to use four layers minimum. So that's easy to accomplish with this project because there are five elements that are required. So there's no reason why you actually don't have five. And if you had more than one picture, you might even have more than that. So to make sure that you're using um, your layers, you could just start off with making the layers right from the beginning. So that way you know um, that you have those layers. So let's say that um, I import a picture first. So I'm going to stay, I mean, in theory, I would actually come to my picture layer um, and then import it so that my picture's on the right layer. But I'm going to purposely put it on the wrong layer because I want to show you how to how to move it. So I'm going to go to file place and I'm going to um, go to my desktop FRCC InDesign projects lyric poster and then um, I put some pictures in here so under my inspiration. So I'm just going to open this up. I'm just going to click hold and drag so we'll just say this is a picture I'm going to use and I put it on my group name. So it's really on the on the wrong layer. So what you can do is with it selected, you could see it's like this purple color because this layer is purple. Well, I can select the square that's on the far right and just click hold and drag and move it to the picture layer. So now it's outlined in green because now it's on that layer. So if I turn that layer off, you can see that it's um, that it's on there. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is um, I'm going to grab the lyrics. So I've already looked them up here. Um, this is uh, Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande. So um, I'm going to use that as my artist name in a minute. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and copy. Ah. Um, and I really don't need the rain on me yet. I really just want the lyrics. Um, I got a new computer and I don't know what this pop-up thing is, but I'm going to have to fix it. Okay, so... Oh, it wants to give me a dictionary. Okay, well, I'll find where that is later and turn that off. So I'm going to copy this. And you're going to have to upload this to Word. Um, and so... Um, this is one of your assignments to um, copy and paste one of your homework assignments, the lyrics. So when I paste this, I wanted to show you that it's pulling that color from the background here. And so one way you can get rid of that, um, I'm going to undo, 
and I'm gonna open my email, just go to a new email, and I can just paste it in this to area and then select it all. So for me, Command A, Command X. So that basically I just copied it and then um, I'm gonna paste it here and it gets rid of that blue. So it strips out all of that um, uh, kind of bluish kind of formatting. Um, and then I'm gonna um, go ahead and type in here, um, rain on me. And might as well just go ahead and do the um, Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande. Okay, so there's the information that I'm really gonna need. So, um, and of course I'm gonna save this as my homework assignment. Um, but for right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and copy all these lyrics, copy. And you're not gonna be using all of the lyrics. So what I'm asking you to do in your homework assignment is to choose which ones um, you're thinking about using. So um, I, I would really be trying to decide what really sums up this song. Um, and you probably are gonna to wanna to make sure you add this rain on me. I'm guessing that's probably the chorus um, area. So you know, maybe you just choose one, um, one kind of section. So maybe it's something like this, um, or maybe it comes down a little further because it seems like the rain on me, rain on me twice um, is that lyric. So maybe it's this section you're gonna add in your poster. So you're gonna highlight that on your homework assignment. So what you're telling me is that's basically what you're using. Um, so if this is what I'm using, then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select the lyrics. I have the text tool, click, hold and drag and paste. So there are the lyrics that I'm going to be, um, that I'm going to be using for the poster. So if your song is short and you want to use, um, more lyrics that's perfectly fine but don't feel like you um, you have to so I really want this to be something that's pretty clean um, and that there's some negative space uh, as well okay so of course I'm also want to gonna want to grab um, their names so that's gonna go with um, the group name of course so paste so it's on that group name so there you can kind of see when I click on things, it shows me what layer it's on. And remember, you could just click that and move it to other layers. Um, so that's basically how you're going to be using layers. And then as far as the guides go, you have to watch the presentation um, that talked about um, um, the different layouts. So um, there's one that's um, kind of like a two column layout and then there's one that's um, not your typical um, kind of layout. So there's lots of options um, as far as like what, how you can lay out your poster. Um, and that's perfectly fine. You could pick whichever one you want, but you have to watch that presentation before you choose this because you're gonna wanna have a layer that has um, your guides and your guides are going to be how you're laying out um, these elements so where is the structure um, so i could do a one column or a two column one column is pretty easy it means that i'm using this big one column so everything needs to be lined up in this area so even if i have this here you know, and this here, this isn't very exciting, but um, maybe it's a little bit larger. Um, and obviously there's some formatting that needs to be done. This needs to be larger. I need to pick typefaces on purpose, whatever it might be. Um, so, and there's still other elements that need to be in. So this is kind of that one column. A lot of students like to do not your typical and not your typical basically means that you can make up your own. Um, kind of your own grid. Um, so in other words, I can draw some lines here. So 
um, and I'm on that guide layer, you'll notice. Um, so I'm just kind of clicking wherever I want. Um, and this helps me just basically get some kind of a, a grid here. So let me do one more here. Um, okay, so once I have my guides, I'm gonna go ahead and lock those down. And um, if I wanna turn off my other elements, you can click each one of these individually, or you can click hold and drag and it'll turn those off. So if you wanted to, you can select um, select these and make them a different color stroke um, so that they're a little easier to just kind of see. Um, so now I can lock my guides down so that they don't move. So then I can turn everything else on and then that helps me. So like maybe um, the title, I want to be on this line um, right here. So I would just pull this down and make sure that that lines up on that um, on that line there. So, I mean, obviously this is gonna be significantly larger because that's pretty important. Um, and I don't have the song name on here yet, so I'd wanna make sure I get that. And I also wanna make sure I have the year. So um, I could do many things with this. Um, I could just rotate this so that it sits on one of these these other kind of lines um, and so I could just rotate it so I'm basically using those lines um, that I made did I just rotate the, the inside I can't tell okay um, I feel like I just rotated the hold on okay um, let me try that again so you're basically just using um, these lines to kind of get things that are um, lined up. I don't know what happened to my picture. Hold on. Okay, that looks right. There we go. Um, so I'm just using this to line it up. So same thing with my lyrics. I need to line up my lyrics somewhere. So either they can be on this line or I could rotate them to fit, you know, so that they're completely sideways um, on this line down here. Uh, lots of options, um, but this is one of the grids that you can use. And then of course, adding some of that other stuff in there. So making sure that you're um, getting all of your different items on different layers. So I go in and turn off all your layers and I turn on um, each one individually, you know, to make sure that they're on the right layer and that you're using um, that you're using the layers. Mm -hmm. And that's it. So that is um, how you use the guides in the layers. And make sure you watch the uh, the demo if you weren't in class or if you just need a refresher on the different um, layouts that you can use for your poster. Thank you. I hope this was helpful.